is Chris. If I've done my job by the end of this video, you're gonna have lots of brand new ideas for how to get the most out of your iPad by incorporating some of today's most powerful AI tools into your workflow. Now bonus, in the second half of this video, I'm gonna share with you several AI apps you can download right now and start using that are gonna make you a lot more productive. But in the first half of this video, I wanna break down how you can use what's known as generative AI with some of the iPad apps you're already using. Apps like Freeform or Keynote and lots more. Well, let's start with this. What is generative AI? It's artificial intelligence that can be used to produce things like text, visuals, audio, and even synthetic data. Now just to demo what can be done with generative AI today, I'm gonna to demo two of the most reputable and powerful AI apps on the market right now, Jasper for text, which I'll be using in Safari, and then Midjourney to generate some images, which I'm gonna be interfacing with in Discord. So we're gonna breeze through a fake demo project today, and you're gonna to get to see how AI can help me dream up a brand out of nowhere from scratch, generate some clever logo ideas, create a mood board in free form, help me turn it into a presentation in Keynote, create a marketing plan, and lots more. And then again, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share a bunch of really great AI apps you can download and start using today. And all the apps that I'm gonna be talking about today will be linked up down in the description. So I'm already set up with Jasper and Midjourney. If you wanna pause and go get those set up using the links down in the description, come back and work through this with me, that would be fun. But the first thing I'm gonna do here is just ask Jasper to brainstorm some ideas for a business that manufactures nitro coffee infused with protein. And as you can see, it spit out a great paragraph here to kind of help me wrap my head around this idea. The next thing I did was ask it to brainstorm some great names for this coffee brand. It gave me some, but then I asked it, you know, can you include the words coffee and wave? And it spit out some new ones. And out of all the ideas that it came up with, I really like the maximum strength coffee wave option. So now what I'm going to do is open up the Freeform app and start creating a mood board for this brand new brand. And now I'm going to start sticking all my AI generated assets into this note. First things first, I'm going to need a logo here. And I've asked Midjourney to generate a bunch of different options for me. So if you want to follow along here, you can do something similar. I said a minimalistic vector logo made of lines featuring the silhouette of an ocean wave and letter C, simple circular shapes and lines, modern with an artistic twist. Now I got the ideas for these prompts from a guy named Linus Ekenstam on Twitter. He's sort of a mid-journey prompt genius, so you definitely wanna go check out his account for lots of ideas. All right, so I'm just gonna drop those logo options into free form here, and now I've got some really cool things that I can start playing around with, but what I like about this particular logo is that it does capture that wave mentality, but it kind of have a coffee bean kind of coming through in the bottom here of the ocean. All right, so back over here in Midjourney, I'm gonna put in a new prompt and start dreaming up some interiors for my new flagship coffee store. And this is the prompt that I use to generate these photos that you're about to see. So you can pause it here and kind of copy that and go off of it on your own. But I'm gonna come back into Freeform and drop those photos in. All right, so now I can start picking out what I want the coffee shop to actually look like. I got all these great examples and man, these actually look better than most coffee shops that I've ever seen. Okay, so it's starting to come together now. We got some good logo options, some interior options. The next thing I want Midjourney to come up with for me are some nitro can designs. So here's the prompt that I used in order to generate these particular can designs, and it spit out several for me, and then what I did was I upscaled, that's what these buttons are, upscaled one, two, three, four, and it gave me some higher quality versions. And just like before, I'm gonna drop those into free form, and now I've got a bunch of cool packaging ideas for this can concept here, and I like that. Then I can also start to imagine what this logo might start to look like on those cans or on the wall or on the products inside the store. All right, so I've got a great start to this project here, but the next thing for me to do is to create a keynote presentation to try to get some investors to fork over some money so I can bring this thing to life. So I'm gonna head back over into Jasper. I'm gonna ask it to create copy for 10 slides for a keynote presentation that introduces the benefits of this product. And good old Jasper, in a matter of seconds, it's generated 10 slides with some really great content. A welcome, what is Nitro Slide? What is protein coffee? The benefits, healthier choices, perfect for any time, delicious flavor, etc. And I'm just gonna head into Keynote and start filling in these slides with that text from Jasper and then also with the visual assets from Midjourney. Can show off the interiors for this potential coffee shop, talk about the benefits, maybe sell some merch, give a different perspective on what this place could look like. Why not have a food truck that serves as a mobile coffee shop? All of this is possible to dream up 
with Jasper and Midjourney. So the next step for me will probably be to do something like create a website. So we can start marketing all this, right? So I'm gonna head back to Jasper and ask it to create a list of to-dos for building a website for this brand from start to finish because I'm gonna stick these in my Apple Reminders app. All right, so just like that, I was able to load all those to-dos into my Apple Reminders. Took me no time at all. And now I'm ready to be super productive. Obviously, life would be even cooler if Apple would come out with the version of Siri that used generative AI natively inside of apps like Apple Notes, or reminders or email or calendar. But until then, I think you have a pretty good idea now of what you can do in basically no time flat using AI in your iPad. Now, obviously I get super into productivity in the Apple ecosystem and just productivity in general. I've made a course that you can actually pre-order right now called Learning to Be Productive. You can find it at thegreatonboarding.com and it's gonna clue you into the key ideas in nine productivity books that have made an absolutely huge difference in my life. Plus I'm gonna explain some productivity systems that you can use, including a few frameworks of my own. Once again, that's at thegreatonboarding.com. Coming up next, I've got several unbelievably useful AI apps to share with you, but first a quick word from today's sponsor. If you look at this iPad, you probably notice there's something a little bit different here. That is the Moft snap case that I've got on here for some extra protection. And also it keeps my Apple Pencil locked in place in case I stow this in my backpack. But it also has built-in MagSafe, so it works great with your Magic Keyboard. Also check this out, it's Moft's snap tablet stand, which is really thin, ridiculously thin, and it's kind of like origami. It folds up so that you can prop your iPad up, also MagSafe compatible. So if you don't want to be using your Magic Keyboard, you can actually just stick this on the back, and now you've got a great stand for handwriting or drawing or watching stuff. Finally, I want to clue you into Moff's iPad Folio, which can elevate your iPad either on the go or at your desk, which can definitely save you from tech neck, thanks to the multiple angles for sketching, video conferencing, etc. And the best part is Moft is giving you a huge 25% discount using the link down in the description. All right, so let me quickly tell you about some great AI apps for iPad users. If you go into the App Store and search for Readwise Reader, you're gonna find this app that I use all the time that's the best Read It Later app I've ever used. Not only is it my go-to way to read articles and newsletters, but I really love the ghost reader function, which will let me ask the document a question or will summarize the document using AI in a flash, which obviously saves me a whole bunch of time. Now, if you head back into the App Store and search for brain.fm, you've heard me mention this before, but it's music that you can focus to whether you're working, relaxing, reading, and I use it while I'm working or reading all the time. But it's great because it's both AI and human-powered music fused together, it's science-backed, and I feel like it does make me more productive. If you head back to the App Store, search for MEM, and you're gonna find that this is a self-organizing AI-powered workspace. So if you're not the kind of person who likes to create a bunch of folders and organize stuff into it, and you'd rather have AI do that for you, this is great. Also, it will find connections between your notes and files and emails and messages, and just connect the dots for you. And then finally, before we get to the web apps, check out ClipDrop, because if you're doing any sort of product photography, it has some really great AI tools to clean those photos up. So if you're gonna sell anything online, Clip Drop is almost a must. All right, moving into the web apps, you're not gonna believe this one. I believe it's pronounced wizard, but it's U-I-Z-A-R-D. Again, all these things will be linked up in the description for you, but it will help you design things like mockups, like apps, like websites, in minutes. This next web app I'm gonna show you is kind of mind-blowing, kind of scary in how good it is, but it's called Eleven Labs, and it generates AI voices based on a sample that you give it. The biggest opportunity in generative AI is language, not images. That is an insanely good-sounding AI voice. A lot of AI voices don't sound good. Eleven Labs is onto something crazy. Another one you can check out is called InVideo, and it's an online video editor, and it's very similar to Midjourney, except instead of giving prompts that create images, you give prompts and it creates videos. Now this is early innings for this kind of stuff, but if you wanna be able to do it, this is where you do it. But while you're waiting for that to get good, something that's already good is Formula Generator, which will generate formulas in Excel for you using AI. So the whole thing is being able to create complex formulas with ease, it can quickly fix your errors. I'm not super into Excel, but I know some people really live inside this app and this could be pretty game changing. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found some good tips and ideas for what you can do right now with AI, either from apps in the App Store or using the apps that you're already using in your daily workflow. Check out 
the course if you're into productivity that's linked up down below or go to thegreatonboarding.com to get the details we've got a newsletter too that i don't want you to miss out on got such a high open rate people really love it and we're jamming it full of extra useful stuff there's nothing in there that's a time waster it's just designed to save you time if you're in the apple ecosystem you will be delighted go check it out that's linked up down below too otherwise i'll catch you in the next video later